Selecting solid high dividend paying companies isn't always straightforward, as I found out over the years as an income investor. Granted, there are a lot of stocks with high dividend yields, with several exceeding 10% or even 12% in some cases. However, if you look into the performance of these companies, you'll realize that they have a history of persistent share price depreciation, as well as a number of dividend cuts throughout time. That is why today, here on Usable Wisdom, I will personally be sharing with you this company that has a 12% dividend stock and is ready to grow. So if you want to start acquiring the wealth of your dreams, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content like this. And now, let's get right into it. You'll undoubtedly come across a number of energy companies while looking for high dividend producing stocks. These are corporations that pay out extremely high dividends based on current energy prices. As long as energy prices are very good, companies like Royalty Trust and Master Limited Partnerships can pay dividend yields of 15% or more. However, if you look at their previous dividend payouts, you'll notice that the amounts vary greatly. As a result, many of these companies aren't worth holding for more than 10 or 20 years since there will be periods where they yield 15%, but then a couple of years where they only produce 1% or 2%. Furthermore, these businesses can result in some difficult tax circumstances. After that, there are plenty of other mortgage rates and business development company stocks that pay out dividend yields of roughly 7% to 8%, or somewhat higher but offer little in the way of long-term growth. I genuinely like a lot of these stocks because of their high level of consistent income, but every dividend portfolio should include some growth. Golub Capital or GBDC is an example of this type of company. It now has a 7.72% dividend yield, which is quite attractive. However, when looking at the stock's long-term performance, the price has remained almost unchanged over time. According to Yahoo Finance, it was trading at roughly $14.20 per share when it initially began, and it now trades at around $15.50 per share almost 12 years later. If you look at this company's dividend distribution history, you'll notice that dividend payments to shareholders have remained quite consistent throughout the last decade. Today, I'd want to look at one dividend stock in particular that I believe has been moving in a healthy direction and about which I've never seen anyone else speak of. It currently has a tremendous dividend yield of over 12%, which has been steadily increasing in recent years. Their financials have been steadily improving recently, particularly their book value and net income. It also has a high insider ownership percentage which is another measure I like to look at because a high insider ownership percentage usually suggests that the company's board of directors is quite bullish about it. The stock I'm referring to is for a firm called Ready Capital Corporation, or RC, which operates as a real estate finance corporation in the United States through its subsidiaries. Small business commercial loans and small business administration loans are originated, acquired, funded, and serviced by the company. They also have mortgage-backed securities, or MBS, with SBC loans and residential mortgage loans as collateral. In 2007, Ready Capital debuted. Their dividend yield is at 12.10% as of the time of recording this video. This equates to a $0.42 cent quarterly dividend for each RC share. Since their inception, their dividend amounts have varied very little. The dividend was reportedly cut in late 2019 and during the 2020 pandemic. But the good news is that the company has recovered fairly well since then, not only in terms of income, but also in terms of dividend amount, which is not only what it was before the pandemic, but has actually increased by two cents, making it the highest distribution amount since 2013. Ready Capital is a mortgage real estate investment trust, or rate, companies that finance income-producing real estate assets in a variety of industries. Rates are an excellent investment for anyone looking for large dividends because they are obligated to pay out 90% of their revenues in the form of dividends to shareholders. 
However, not all rates, particularly mortgage rates, are viable investments. But unlike most mortgage rates, Ready Capital has a unique corporate structure. Even though they had to cut their dividend for a while, Ready Capital's mortgage portfolio fared so well that they didn't lose any money during the first wave of the pandemic, according to one story. Before we continue, you may comment below on which country you are from so that we can create more specific content that is applicable to your region. With that said, let's get back to the content, shall we? As Ready Capital has been in a merger and acquisition frenzy, this company has grown dramatically over the previous few years. Ready Capital successfully merged with another mortgage rate, Anworth Mortgage Asset Corporation which has been struggling after incurring a $64 million loss in 2019, and they lowered their dividend payment amount from $0.25 cents to barely $0.05 cents per share 10 months ago. Ready Capital now has a combined capital base of over $1 billion and a well-diversified investment portfolio as a result of the merger. In reality, Ready Capital has been showing its power by acquiring or merging with other companies in order to increase its business in the third quarter of 2021. They're in the midst of combining with Mosaic Real Estate Investors, which will expand their reach and diversify their portfolio. They had acquired Redstone three months prior, giving Ready Capital further diversification in the multifamily real estate industry. Anworth, Knight Capital Funding, Owens, and ZFC were also acquired. All of these purchases and mergers have resulted in much more diversification, which is beneficial to a mortgage rate because it reduces risk. SBA origination, acquisitions, and servicing account for 34% of their portfolio. Following that, 31% in SBC bridge originations, 14% in SBC fixed rate originations, and so on. Ready Capital is becoming one of the best in terms of diversification when compared to other mortgage rates, due mainly to all of these mergers and acquisitions with other companies. But what are the advantages of purchasing a mortgage rate that holds SBA or SBC loans? Ready Capital's loans are backed by the government's total confidence and credit assurance in the event they fall. They also ensure that payments are made on schedule. Another significant advantage is that these loans include a variable rate feature that affects interest rates. These loans, according to Ready Capital's website, have long maturities ranging from 5 to 25 years in order to suit any requirements the small firm may have. Depending on the business, Ready Capital offers loans ranging from $350,000 to $5 million. To go into detail on SBA and SBC loans, we would need a lot of time. However, if you really want more details, you can go to sba.gov and learn more about how small businesses qualify for these loans and how companies like Ready Capital select which businesses to lend money to. With the current news of rising interest rates, Ready Capital is in a great position because 70% of its loans are at a floating rate which means that when interest rates climb, Ready Capital will be able to generate more money from its loan portfolio. Insider ownership percentage is another particular metric. As previously said, a high insider ownership percentage is a solid indicator of the board of directors' confidence in their own company's future prospects. When insider ownership of a stock is extremely low, it indicates that even the company's top executives do not wish to hold their own stock. It's possible that the board believes the company is in difficulty or that they won't be able to maintain their payouts. However, it is also dependent on the number of outstanding shares as well as the number of business insiders. Ultimately, I argue that Ready Capital is not just a good investment, but that as long as COVID does not severely interfere with the economy, I wouldn't be shocked if the company boosts its dividend this year. With rising interest rates, I believe this could help position the company for a strong net income position. And even if they don't boost the dividend anytime soon, a 12% return is still a wonderful investment. Having said that, I believe Ready Capital is worth exploring for anyone looking for a high yield. 
We'll have to wait and watch how their stock price performs in the future because it doesn't appear that the stock market itself is done with its instability just yet. Make sure to conduct your own research and legwork before making a decision. And also, don't neglect to diversify your portfolio to lower your potential losses. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this has been an enlightening experience for you. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to see our latest uploads. See you in the next one!